Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. The virtual cabin in Friday the 13th, the game, is finally back again and it is a must for Jason fans as it's jam packed with references to the films. There are literally hundreds, but that's not why we're here today. There are so many hidden easter eggs to find. So I thought we'd ignore all those easily found secrets and find those ultra rare ones together. There may be a jump scare or two ahead of us, so be warned about that. Are you ready? Let's do this. On the menu screen select offline play and virtual cabin. This will load up version 1.0. Remember this because we'll be seeing it quite a few times. Once inside the cabin, frolic to your heart's content. You can even purr through a keyhole at a scantily clad counsellor or two if that's your bag. Once you've finished purving, you'll notice books, magazines and newspapers with a word guess clue on the back. The newspaper is week one, a furry friend with a purple bow. If you know you're Friday the 13th, then you've already summarised the answer is muffin. The blue mark underneath the answers tells us which letter we need to remember. So in this case, it's M. I won't spoil any more of these if you want to find them yourself, but the combined answer makes up the word mother. By the front door is a computer from the 1980s. Activate it and select check for updates. You'll need a password to get any further, but of course, we've already got it. Mother. You'll be shown a list of new areas to enjoy, and now the ability to pick up items and crouch has been added to your skill set. Once again, look around the house and have fun, but when you're ready, go to the diorama in the first room of the cabin. Our task now is to put these characters in the right Jason nativity scene. So pick up all the characters and head to the new room with the red door at the centre. In the far corner is yet another diorama. F snakes scared the shit out of me the first time I played. Once again, grab all the characters here. Let's start with this diorama, as it looks like a scene from part 3. So let's put them down in this order. Ali on the left, then part 3 Jason in the middle. And now we have an issue. We need Chris. Well, all is not lost. He can be found in the bathroom in a box. Be careful not to become mesmerised by Jenny's backside. Grab Chris and bring him back and pop him on the right. Back over to the other diorama, which looks like a nod to the final Friday film. This time use Jessica, Jason and Steven. And... The drawer offers you a badge or a secret patch if you prefer. Run to the kitchen and next to the light switch is a mount for four patches. This is our task. Let's find the other three. Upstairs you'll notice a shrine to Jason with many of his masks, but some of them are missing too. The first mask is in the back bedroom in the blue tent. Remember to crouch to get there. The next mask is in the fireplace downstairs, and finally the third mask is in the red door room in a box. Grab all of these and take down all the masks on the shrine too. The masks must be placed in chronological order, so here's what you're looking for. This is a shrine for Jason, so one of these masks doesn't belong here. Take down the blue chevron mask as that was worn by someone pretending to be Jason. And once you've done that, another drawer will open and reward you for your detective skills. The next patch requires use of these column things. First, we need all the objects. A police badge which is in the same room as the red door. A blue hat which can be found by the front door. Upstairs in the blue tent room, open the wardrobe. That's the first jump scare here that didn't actually make me shit myself. Crouch down here and take the yo-yo. And finally, the bandana is in the bathroom. Damn you, Jenny's butt. And here's where you put them. The back exit to the right of the kitchen hides a plinth behind the door. Pop the blue cap here. In the red door room, place the red bandana. Upstairs in the bloody bedroom, place the yo-yo. And finally place the star in the blue tent room. We are getting there, only one patch left. Depending on how OCD you are, place the patches now or crack on. I couldn't figure out the next patch, so I must thank Reddit here. Get your backside over to the phone and dial 1555-342-9277. And you'll be greeted like this. Who is this? Where is my boy? Grab the last patch and take it home to unlock a secret bunker. Downstairs is an awesome Jason tribute museum with two cabinets still covered. By the end of this video, we will uncover both. 
the incessant phone ringing in the back of the room will become so annoying you'll be forced to curtail your tour and answer it. You can bring him back, you know. There's always a way. And we've done it! We finished it! No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Buckle down, we've got so much more to uncover. As the cabin loads in again, we are now up to version 1.3. Feel free to look around again, a few little changes can be found, but to activate our next task, we need to use that computer again, and change the date to June 13th, 1979. That's when the majority of the first film takes place. Changing the date will cause the phone to ring in the basement again. Go on, go answer it. Following the power cut, we are locked in the Jason Museum until we check out the axe by the power relay. Once complete, we can now venture back upstairs, but one of the Jasons has now broken free and is killing everyone in the house, even Jenny and her perfect butt. Remember the room we could spy in earlier? Well that room is now open and only a corpse remains, but hang on, there was two of them earlier. Where's the other one? Check out the back of the door for another gruesome murder and while you're here, grab the key from around his neck. If everything is going to plan, the front door will now be smashed open and we can frolic outside. As always, go for a look around and come back to me when you're ready to move on. On the beach is our escape method, the boat which requires fuel. But you've guessed it, it's locked behind another one of those patch quests. Just by the campfire is your car and front of that is a locked refrigerator. The padlock code is 5312. You'll be gifted with everyone's favourite Christmas present, Pamela's head. Come home to mommy, Jason. You know the way. Run up to Jason's shack at the top of the hill to put Pamela as the table ornament she was meant to be. And here's our first patch for outside. I'm home. You did good. <laughs> Next, go back down the hill all the way past the cabin and use the key you found to open up the little shack. Inside is a shovel and we are going digging. Walk up to the cemetery and locate Jason's grave. You know what to do, start shoveling. How the heck do we wake him up though? We need a conductor. Look around the fence for it, then jab it straight into Jason's torso. And watch the carnage. Once you awake, be sure to grab the patch and look around again. And yes, everyone is dead again. Two patches down and our final task is to follow a maze, but we have to follow it perfectly or this happens. Starting at the stop sign, walk forward to the machete. It's pointing in your next direction. Simply follow it to the tree carving, then to the arrow, then to the ducks, and finally a shallow grave. Grab your shovel and dig up Muffin. He hasn't aged well. Take your last patch and you've done it. Unlock the fuel and make your escape across the lake. But wait, Jason isn't finished with you yet. Let's go back into the cabin one more time. 
We are now on version 1.6 of the cabin, otherwise referred to as New Game Plus Plus. I was completely stuck here, so I did a little bit of digging online and discovered that we can use the Konami code in Friday the 13th. Simply press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, which is Circle X on a PlayStation. This unlocks the debug mode. You're going to change a few options here. First, change show collisions to on, and then try turning off the map's collisions. I admit that one scared the bejesus out of me again. If we get the unknown error message, this proves we are on track to finish this one. Go back to the room with the red door, and now look at it. It's a glitching mess. Walk straight through it. I don't know how to explain this one. We are stuck in a secret room. Listen to the walkie talkie to move forward. To get out of here, simply walk into the flying patches and we have now unlocked patch 1.7. <laughs> This world is very unstable and the characters are glitching in and out of position. Simply follow the patches to keep this experience going. Oh, and look who makes a cameo. The CEO of Ilphonic drops by. What a nice guy. Make your way to the basement. Of course, stopping to check out Jenny's butt again. <sighs> In the basement, grab the final patches from the Jason statues and enjoy another brutalizing. Here we are, the final step. Follow all the badges to the coming soon room, which will spawn you into something that looks like a spaceship. I'm sure you already know what's coming here. Look around the ship and when you're ready, flip the switch on the door and enjoy what all your hard work has achieved. Oh my god, we are getting Uber Jason and the Grendel map. What an awesome reveal. Honestly, potentially the greatest reveal I have ever seen. One last thing to enjoy before the cabin tour is over. Loading back into the virtual cabin launches patch 2.0. Go down to the basement and now all the glass cabinets are back with the addition of the cheeky little part one Jason and of course Jason X. How freaking fantastic is that? Anyway, we did it. We survived the Virtual Cabin 2.0 experience. Please throw us a like if you think this video is worth it and think about subscribing if this is your type of thing. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you next time. I bet I sound like a right perv. Mmm, Jenny's butt. <laughs> it's a good butt. It is a good, it's going in the video. It's a good butt.